Well, hello and welcome to the Physics Playground. Today's point of interest is the bar. And at this bar, the beautiful Buzzers bar, we have a difficulty tier 1 POI, which can be obtained from the trader as a clear quest. So let's get stuck into Buzzers bar. See if we can get a nice cold pint whilst we're here. There's some nice cars out the front. What have we got in here today? Oh, one rotting meat. Oh, I haven't seen a dumpster in a few episodes. Oh, my favourite. Bit of rubbish. Oh, look at this. Not working. So that would be a wrencher for me. And in this other car out here, we have some lovely... Oh, some, something a bit more interesting there. Short iron pipe and a headlight. Great. So, and always worth scrapping, of course. Always worth scrapping. So let's go round the back and see. We can poke out eyes through here and we can well we can see this little um back area i think that's a zombie there there is a zombie there um oh and a little way onto the roof up there but there we go fairly straightforward we will head in of course properly through the front entrance here and see what happens so can we open the front door we can lots of sound traps i'm sure well, I do know. Look at these little bits of the floor. You see the different colours on the floor? I'm sure they will break. Yes, there they are breaking as the zombies go over them. We'll let this one break as well. There we go. Bam! So we've got to watch it as we walk over these. We fall in. And this can make it a little bit messy. There's another one. Uh, when you are trying to fight the zombies, definitely can be a bit of a problem. But what have we got here? We have some uh, little seating area for you to wrench. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever wrenched one of the... Can you wrench these? I guess so. I'll have to try that out one day. But this is what I'm always in here for. The bar. If I see it, it's got two main purposes for me. Number one is my ability to get crush. Now, am I going to get lucky today? Not so far. But I do love crush. I love it as that backup. A backup when we are trying to fight that zombie hordes and we want to run and gun. No luck today. The second one is, oops, as I fall down this hole, the second one is when we get up to the top. It's a very nice little place for an emergency base if you are getting chased by a horde or if it is horde night and you need somewhere else to go. Soundtrap in the toilet. Is anyone in here? No, I didn't think so. Uh, but there is a nice little sports bag here. And, of course, toilets. Yes, hands down there. No little guns for me today. Come on! No, nothing at all, but always worth searching. So there's the bar area. You know, little bits and bobs. Now, what's this? Look at this little bit here. Oh, look at that nice big duffel bag sitting in the wall. And some nice things in there. Now, there's going to be somebody in here. Whoa! It's a Steve! Oh, boink! Um, crazy Steve. Wow, he's standing. He actually stood for a little bit. Well done. It's pretty good going, seeing as he has lost the bottom half of his body. A coffee maker, a cooker, um, and maybe some other bits and bobs. It depends, doesn't it? Sometimes the fridge spawns for you, sometimes not. But nothing else much, really. So into the back area here. Oh, more dumpster action. And a zombie that's not working. Wait, not working. Well, not working. Nor's, nor's my speech at the moment. Not waking up. So if I open this dumpster... Nope, they still don't. Oh, they do, eventually. They do, eventually. So let's go and... Oh, they're a bit feisty. Good, good, good. Well, they have woken up. We have this backpack sitting around here. Nice. We went into the dumpster. There's a grill. There's another bag. So several bags in this PY, which is nice. Look at that. Tier 6 scrap helmet. That's pretty nifty. And a little grill giving me some coal. Oh, and a lovely trash bin. Giving me more than anything else in the POI. 183 brass. Thank you very much. Now, of course, there's stuff to scrap. But this is the stairway up here. And this is nice because straight away, this is the only route to the roof. And this gives you an opportunity, literally, you know, to get up here. But the zombies, I don't think, can get up here. And you can easily break down this wood. So if you need a roof to get to in an emergency manner, then this is the place to go. There is our end loot. Can I reach that? I, I, I can. I was just wondering if I could do it without meeting the zombies. Because we might cheese it in a minute. But they definitely wake up straight away. Uh, we'll take those fellas out. Oh, ho, 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 didn't you actually go down? I apologise. Um, but there we have it. There's nothing on this little roof here. Uh, we have the final loot, but there is an extra ledge, and I do believe... Yes, yet yeah, more backpacks and bags. Definitely a whole bunch of them. And look at that. Whoa, still sledgehammer and a tier six padded hood. Hey, that was pretty good. Are we going to get lucky in here? Well, we have a wood crate. 
And we do get quite lucky. That's a nice little uh, a bunch of stuff there. And today I have been blessed with a shotgun messiah box. And in there we have goodies as well. So all looking pretty lovely. Lovely place to make a little starter base. You can uh, put another bits and bobs on top of it. A few frames and make a roof. You've got an area to put your, your, your little bench. Oh, look at that. Medical supply. Hello. We'll have some more painkillers. Yes, thank you, sir. -y. And there we go. And of course then... Can the zombies get up here? I don't know. I don't think they, they might try and jump up here. They might go up here. I don't know. But it's as simple as taking this out, really, isn't it? And, uh, wow. If you take that out, you can jump on here and then straight up there. Zombies certainly won't be able to do that. Or if they do, well, you'll be only fighting one every few minutes. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And it leaves that light there for you as well. So what a cool little POI. The question is, can we... Can we get up here and get the loot without waking these people up? I do not think so, to be fair. But what about a quick little framing up the side? And then if we stand here and not in this zone, but over here, then we can just headshot them with a bow and arrow. So let's give that a go in beginner level one mode. So here we are at 9 a.m. in the morning visiting the bar which is uh, hopefully not a usual thing for people. Um, but if you're desperate for a drink, then desperate times are happening. I think I'll put my block about here. And uh, we are particularly coming on this side because it's easier to see the zombies rather than over this metal gang tree. This time we have a zombie outside. I guess we've still only got two. One must be in here and one must be there. Which is fine by me. I'm crouching, of course. Get my bow out. Get myself aimed and pop one into that lovely lady there. Um, and then hopefully there's somebody else here. There is. I'll bring my frames down a bit just so I've got a clear headshot. And I can whack them straight in the old head. And that is it. Ready for the cheese. Now, we're going to go a bit further than that today. Because this particular POI I know and love very, very well. And I know that this is what I would call a reversal POI. Oh, there's some gorgeousness, isn't there? This is a POI that's very, very easy to completely complete. You know, as in if you've got your bow and arrow and you're going a bit sneaky, if you do it backwards. So, uh, you know, I'm going to show you that one as well today. We're not going to stop right here. But we will first finish the actual looting up here which is pretty much done and poke our nose down here i don't think at tier one we end up getting anyone in this area no we don't so we could go and loot down there but from the standard cheese we have a tier three pipe shotgun stun baton schematic a bit of a tech junkie there trigger full auto mod and a few other bits of selling and of course first aid bandage which is always good to find so that's pretty good but the reason i want to show you this is this is what i do all the time on this poi you come around here and uh, of course you start looting everything else but now that that i didn't see her i did not see her where did she she spawned late didn't she so i could have shot her from up there okay that's that's my bad i swear i didn't see her i'm gonna have to look back at the footage I must have just been very, very silly. But still, she's very easy to kill. And you'll see more about what I'm um, talking about when we come through here. If I break that down, now we can get the person in here. And we could frame up to get a little bit higher. But I reckon Steve will go down nice and easy. Cool. I'll have some of that. I'm creeping in here. And I should see on the bar or somewhere around here. No, I've got no luck. Let's quickly get this. Um, we sometimes can see people lying about a little bit easier. There they are. So there's a Steve, so we're just going to come around here. And by doing the whole thing backwards, yeah, it just uh, it just means that they don't wake up, basically. And uh, you can kind of take them out real, real, real easy. So maybe, normally you get two in here. There is one. Um, I'm going to just jump up here and crouch. And there we go. There we go. So um, that is the entire thing completely clear. There's no one in here. Um, and it's nice and easy if you go backwards. I'm going to check in here, just because I didn't get any crush um when i went through it in the first playthrough and i don't know has anyone else noticed is crush getting more and more difficult to find i don't know i used to always jump in and you get lucky on one of them but anyway that's the way it goes and we are up here so let's get the cheeseometer out and have a look i think oh what should i give this one it is rather simple isn't it but i'm still going to go for a cheeseometer a cheeseometer on the three a three i'm going to give it a three just because 
little bit difficult to kind of get the headshots around here, I suppose. I don't know, three and a half. I wish I had it on my cheesometer, but I'm not quite give it a four because I think it is a little bit challenging just to get someone in here. Um, but as you know, a tier one basic, just get in there and bash the absolute pants off them all. So let's go high up into the sky and sweep around the beautiful physics playground. This is where we hang out on a Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. And we will go through every single one of these POIs, finding out all the little secrets and all the little cheese, if it's possible. So thank you for joining me today. And I will see you very soon. Hit that like, subscribe and leave me a comment. Goodbye.